So we have another male Karen, or maybe we should call them Ken, who left his home and followed these sisters. While following the sisters, he picked up the phone and called the police. Check this out. Physically attacked by this woman. Physically attacked. By who? He said these women earlier, now it's this, this woman. woman. What's your story, baby? Because I haven't touched I anybody. Oh, really? <laughs> I've oh, never I touched tell you. you recording. I'm sorry. That's funny because your video is gonna be careful, a bunch of right? lies. White people love to lie. I'm black woman. White people <laughs> literally this this dude left his apartment. <laughs> he left. I'm racist. Black. I don't know why these racist Karens and Kens can't just leave our people alone. These sisters are minding their own business, going along their merry way, and he picks up the phone, calls the police, and lies and says that they are attacking him and then has the audacity and the caucasity to call them racists when you are the one following them. They actually should have called the police on him to say that they were not feeling safe because this person was following them. And if the police had come, how might it have turned out for these sisters? There really truly has to be a law against these Kens and Karens that are out here troubling us when we're not bothering anybody. I hope these sisters exposed this man. I hope they got his name so that we can put him on blast and ensure that he is charged. Let me know what you all think about this. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Also download the African Diaspora News app. And you can get it at the Google Store or the Apple Store and you'll have access to content that you may not see here on YouTube. So download that app. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, EA Public Relations. Until next time, please be safe, everyone. Peace be.